This is a video of my 88 35th anniversary Corvette that I've had, oh, roughly since 89. So I've owned this car for a long time. It's a really low mile. I'm talking under 20,000 miles, but most of those miles have been at very high speeds. This car has been a Paxton supercharged car since basically I bought it, 90. We did uh, one of the early versions of the kit on it. And there's the supercharger sitting over there on the bench, or on the, on the cabinet. And uh, so this is a really nice car. Um, as you can see, it has no motor in it right now. And this is a manual transmission car with a modified four plus three and a SK built overdrive in it and everything. So uh, the engine's out of it. And this is probably, oh, maybe the sixth time the engine's been out of this car and under 20,000 miles. So this is the motor to the car. And don't fret you Corvette originality nuts. I've got the original engine plastic bag to this car sitting in my garage. So this is a ZZ3 performance engine that I bought when these things first came out. And uh, when they first came out, they had a set of hyper eutectic pistons in them that were known to fail. So it failed pretty much right after install. And so I threw a fit and GM Performance gave me back a little bit of money on the motor, actually more than you would think. I don't remember the time, but it was enough to, to uh, put some pistons in it. So we went ahead and I put some pistons in it. We put some TRW uh, blower pistons in it. And it ran for years that way and it did good. And the compression ratio was probably down in the high eights. Uh, and then I let it sit for many years and then we got it back out. And then it decided to do the old small block, blow the head gasket between the cylinders three and five, which is right there. So, okay, motor came apart um, to fix that. And yeah, we could just stick another head gasket on it, put it back together, but we didn't. So this time I took it to a real good machinist uh, here in town and I put a set of GE light, a JE lightweight uh, two eyebrow pistons in it. And so we're gonna bring the compression back up to the mid to upper 10 uh, area there. And we're gonna, cause that's gonna be with these 58 CC Corvette heads and we're gonna probably do a little light port work on them. These are a notorious issue to smooth those out. These are decent heads, they're not, you know, they're not Brodix, they're not AFRs, they're not anything like that, but they're factory GM heads and they work good. And you can see these are the ZZ3, so they are screw in and they have the better springs in them. And they run a set of crane uh, full roller 1.5s on them. And of course the cam in the, the ZZ3 motor is, so oh, I don't remember the specs on it, but it's, it's bigger, it's like a 520 lift cam. Uh, of course, hydraulic roller. So that's what's going back in there. And so we're gonna have a high compression ratio on a blower engine, which is backwards of thinking, but this is a very low boost blower. blower. I run it at six to eight pounds most of the time, sometimes at 10 with a different pulley. We're gonna run it, you know, five rate. And, just, and, and at this point, the blower is probably gonna be at upper RPMs, a limiting factor to the motor, but it'll get a lot of torque and it's still a fast car. This car's been, you know, 200 miles an hour in its life, so it's a it's a screamer, and uh, it'll go back to that. But it's just kind of a short video of of this. Uh, we are going back to, and I had this system, a different system on it several years ago, and when I put the motor at lower compression, I actually went back with the stock TPI runners uh, and uh, stock base. Of course, the the uh, upper plenum has been modified years ago. It's sitting over here because I had bigger runners on it. I think I had TPIS runners on it at the time or something. And so here we have a the, the modified planter. Those are the stock runners there. And these are actually a set of 38 uh, pound injectors. And I limit them down with an FMU on the car, which is all mechanical. There's nothing electronic about it. It's boost sensitive. And that's up there. And that FMU is adjustable when we bring it in. And uh, you know, at 42 PSI or so, fuel pressure 45 psi it's getting a lot squirting a lot of gas but uh it is uh you know it's not a not a modern way of doing it but it's an old school way of doing it and it does work but this time we're going back with i 
found a complete set of uh, Edelbrock uh, uh, big tube runners and the big tube base. Where's that base at? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this base here. And uh, so that'll, I'll put my EGR on it. But this was, the big tube runners are new. This is basically hardly been used. It's been set up to bolt on the car, but it never was. Uh, so they have bigger ports in them and that'll help a little bit. Um, and so all in all, with all this stuff done to it, it'll be, you know, with the blower and everything, maybe a, maybe a 500 horsepower motor, very, very mild, very, uh, but for a, for a 350, uh, it'll be pretty good. It's actually now a 355. We, we went ahead and went, uh, 30 over on the motor, even though it didn't need it because the motor hardly had any wear on it, but, uh, it was a whole lot easier finding this model piston and 30 over and they were going to hone it out anyway so we might as well we went that route that's kind of it uh the clutch for this thing i've been running had several different clutches in it over the years but for the four plus three doug nash that's a factory clutch and it's still in pretty good shape uh, i had a uh oh i think it was a spec model in there that never worked right and I just don't think the spec or no, this, no, no pun intended. The specs weren't spec right for the for this setup, and it always just flashed and slipped a lot. This doesn't slip. I mean, you can make it slip if you really dog it, but uh, that doesn't. Uh, flywheel's been balanced with a motor, or motor's been balanced balanced with flywheel anyway. Should I say? And I even put a new GM timing chain in it. Those are the old older TRW blower pistons that I had in the motor. So you can see they were. Uh, these are forged and uh, they're a big dish. So like I said, it really lowered the compression ratio. And going from what I had before, which was the Hyper Eutectics, which had it in a mid 10 range that did not hold up, uh, it really lowered the power of this motor. But that was the intention at the time when the car was a little newer and trying not to make it crazy. Now, who cares? They're uh, just toys anyway at this point in their life. This car has, you know, set of die mags on it from a Callaway. And those are real real expensive wheels, as you know. So I have several Callaways. Um, and this car, not quite as fast as the modified Callaway that I have, but it's it's there, you know. It's uh, definitely quicker than a like a 90 to 95 ZR1, but it's top speed, eh, maybe close to the same. But uh, actually it's faster, I'm sorry, because yeah, we changed the overdrive ratio on it. So this car has hit the 200 range. So yeah, we have a, I have a point, uh, uh, six three overdrive in this car, or excuse me, point six eight, which is the higher or the, the less steep overdrive, which is a Z51 overdrive. But all of these uh, 35th anniversary cars were never offered in a Z51. They came with Z52 option only, but we've got pretty much all the Z51 parts in this car. Um, of course, this is a 308 ratio rear end, 307. And then, you know, like I said, it is a four plus three car, which makes this car extremely rare, just being a 35th anniversary four plus three. I think the number is 99 or something that were made of these. And so it, uh, it's a very rare car. And like I said, it's a low mile car, very well kept. It's never been outside. It's always been kept inside. But if you, uh, if you ever see my car and you think it hasn't gone faster, or been raced, well, you're wrong. It has. And uh, it'll be raced again. I promise you that. But I never dog it. Um, you can see it still has really nice GSCs on it. I never burn the tires. I just run it from a higher speed and, and go. And uh, we have Z51 brakes on it, which these are, you know, the big brakes. Uh, they're all on that car. And of course, the Vilstein Z52, those are actually Z51s now in there. So that's the kind of shape it's in. That's what a car looks like that's been kept well over the years. And like I said, I've got two motors for the car. The original one, which is nice. It probably has about eight or 9,000 miles on it. That's kind of when we started messing with the car. And then uh, until now it's got 16, 17,000 miles on it. And it's all been 100% raced. So that's it.